Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries present Truth for Growth a daily devotional program God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth Now Pastor Adam Samuel Ingerton will bring to you the infallible word of God Greetings to you in the all powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ For today's devotion let's read Genesis chapter 44 verses 1 and 2 And he commanded the steward of his house saying fill the men's sack with food and as much as they can carry and put every man's money in his sack's mouth and put my cup the silver cup in the sack's mouth of the youngest and his corn money and he did according to the word that Joseph had spoken Let's read this verses again. And he commanded the steward of his house saying, Fill the men's sack with food as much as they can carry and put every man's money in his sack's mouth. And put my cup, the silver cup, in the sack's mouth of the youngest and his corn money. And he did according to the word that Joseph had spoken. To understand the spiritual truth from these verses, We need to first of all understand the typology. Joseph is the type of the Lord Jesus Christ. Benjamin, the youngest, was the least, the type of the humblest, to God's humble people. The silver cup is the type of the pure heart. The sack is the type of our life. The steward, referred to here, is the type of the Holy Spirit. The silver cup that was put in the sack of Benjamin was the cup of Joseph himself and it typifies an extremely pure heart. We all know that Joseph is the type of the Lord Jesus Christ. Joseph was very careful that his own silver cup and not any other silver cup be put in Benjamin's sack. Benjamin the youngest speaks of the least the humblest in the body of Christ. Lord Jesus our Joseph is pleased to put his silver cup his own purity his own holiness into the sack of the least into the life of the humblest apostle paul says i am less than the least of all the saints that's why the lord had put the silver cup in his sack also and it appears for he confesses that he has a pure heart benjamin could in no wise take the credit for it for it was placed by the steward the holy spirit at the express command of joseph who is the type of the lord jesus christ purity and humility always go together the humblest or the purest and the silver cup the most pure heart like the heart of the lord jesus was found in the youngest in the humblest if you look at verse 12 and he searched and began at the eldest and left at the youngest and the cup was found in the benjamin's sack dear god's people if the holy spirit searches your sack your life today what will he find in your sack see verse 1 all the other men's sack were filled with food and money but only the sack of benjamin were filled with joseph's silver cup food and money why only benjamin because benjamin was very close to joseph's heart today many are blessed with food and money but they are not eternal there are only temporal but only benjamin blessed with joseph's silver cup and other blessings Are you blessed with Joseph's silver cup? Food and money for the body. But Joseph's silver cup, purity and holiness is for the soul. That's a good part which shall not be taken away from you. Today, when the Holy Spirit searches you, will he find the Joseph's silver cup in your sack, in your life? Is your heart as pure as the heart of God? Hallow the Holy Spirit of God to search your heart this morning. 
Bible says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Bible also says, Holiness without which no man shall see God. All that God requires from you and me is God kind of holiness, the silver cup of Joseph. God bless you and God be with you. Amen.